No, but you told this me. This is going to be interesting. Reed, you're not seriously floating around the idea of an evil twin, are you? No, I'm not. I'm floating the idea of an eviler twin. D traditionally, the concept is a good twin and an evil twin. But in this case, it's evil twin, evil. How'd you crack it? I profiled the author. Uh, Cortland Ryan was on death row with several high-ranking members of the Aryan Brotherhood. He got the code from the Aryans? Either that or you read a lot of 16th century literature. The Aryans like to use a cipher based on a 400-year-old code written by Sir Francis Bacon. So it's a binary code? Yeah. Uh, Bacon used a 21-letter alphabet. This one's 24. Each letter is assigned a bit string of five binary digits. This combination yields 32 possible encodings. Normally, you'd use a computer to run all these combinations, but it was quicker just to do it longhand until I found the right one. He's so lifelike. <laughs> Anyone get directions back to the airstrip? The town's only got one road. We'll find it. Yeah, Morgan doesn't like to follow directions. You didn't know about that? Yeah, he likes to vibe it. Okay, smart as you drive. Oh, great. Thank you. What's he listening to? Uh, Beethoven? Hmm. I personally preferred Mozart myself, but be careful to limit his exposure to one hour a day. Amniotic fluids have a tendency to amplify sound. Thanks for the reminder, Doc. So wait, you knew your name? I don't know how I could forget a face like hers. You've been with so many girls you can't remember all their names? Oh, come on, are you surprised? This has never happened to me before. It hasn't happened to me before either. Well, it can't happen to you. You have an eidetic memory. And besides, you only got one name to remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking a lot today. In the third trimester, there's an average of 30 fetal movements per hour. Babies kick to explore movement and strengthen muscle. Have you ever actually felt a baby kick? You feel that? Does that freak you out? No, not at all. Why does it freak you out? Very much so. <laughs> okay. You considering it? Considering what? Having baby geniuses one day. Hello. I've noticed that in the cities. Reed. Sorry, I was dreaming. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, you don't look like me anymore. You used to. Everybody said so. They say some people look like their dogs, too. It's attributed to prolonged mutual exposure. Elderly couples also, they unconsciously mimic the expressions of people they've been around their whole life. So it kind of, kind of makes sense that I wouldn't really look like you. I haven't seen you in 20 years. Get him! Get him! He's keeping tabs on you. That's saying something. Yeah, he Googled me. That makes up for everything. I'm gonna get some hair. We want you to be Henry's godfather. I don't even know. I don't know. Here, do you want to hold him? Um. It's okay. Here I, you go. Uh, Hi. There you go. Hello, Henry. <laughs> well, if anything should happen to us, it's up to you and Garcia to make sure this boy gets into Yale. 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 Do you want to go to Yale, Henry? That was your godfather's safety school. <laughs> Don't worry, I can get you into Caltech with one book. I hold doctorates in chemistry, mathematics, and engineering, as, as well as BAs in psychology and sociology. How old are you? Uh, I'm 27, as of last month, I'm 27. I, I'm, I'm, I'm also completing an additional BA in philosophy, which uh, reminds me that I have a joke. <laughs> How many existentialists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Two, one to change the light bulb, and one to observe how it symbolizes an incandescent beacon of subjectivity in another world of cosmic nothingness. <laughs> um, an existential. Okay, question. before he does his quantum physics knock knock joke. I never have any normal fans. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Okay. 
So how does our unsub go from loser of the year to Don Juan? Actually, as Byron interpreted him, Don Juan was an ironic reversal of sex roles. And when... And that's about it. <clears throat> Something must have happened. Those are really nice earrings. I like those. <laughs> Thanks. My grandmother wears a lot of fake jewelry also. Looks nice. <laughs> when you think about the nature of serial crimes, it's amazing there aren't more predators in the clubs. I mean, excessive amounts of alcohol, countless opportunities for date rape drugs, not to mention surprisingly risky behavior being pursued. All right, so who wants a flyer? Nobody? Okay. All right. I'm looking for the blue M30s. People call them the perks, but I believe they're fentanyl. <laughs> anyway, I'll be here. I'm a homeless man. Hi, excuse me, boss. Ah! So, how's it going? Not good. I gave the profile to one woman. She asked if I was the unsub. What you have to do with these ladies? Just take control of the conversation. When you're talking, what makes you feel like an expert? Uh, statistics. No. Trust me, no. Something else. Hi, what can I get you? Hi, uh, we're with the... Uh... FBI, uh, we're looking for this man. Does he look at all familiar to you? That's not much of a picture. I, I know. You know what might help, actually, is um, he has a scar on his eye right about there. Um, but we, we also know that he's taken classes where he's learned how to distract and charm his victim. <laughs> okay, how'd you do that? That's, uh, it's privileged information. Huh. So what do I do if I see him? Uh, you should call us. Uh, even if you just think you see him, you should definitely call us. And if I don't see him? Can I still call you? Yeah. Maybe you can call me. You, yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, <laughs> I don't have your number. Oh, um, it's behind your barrette. how the trip home always seems to go so much faster? It's because the tailwinds are in our favor. No, I meant because... Anybody want to get something to eat? You find anything incriminating? I was able to differentiate between two distinct voices, two authors. I found various idiosyncratic words, phrases, punctuation, and orthography within the blog entries consistent with each separate person. Words like soda and pop. One guy uses dashes while the other uses ellipses. <laughs> Where'd you find this kid? He was left in a basket on the steps of the FBI. Reed, we need a DOB on Prentice. Uh, 712 a.m. October 12th, 19... Hey! Mm -hmm. What's missing from the Michelle Watson murder is any sign of rage or overkill. Yeah, instead on the tape we see signs of remorse, a complete and sudden emotional change. It's absolutely fascinating. I love you, Reed, but the stuff you find fascinating is sad. Five people died, many more exposed and sickened, including a baby who was admitted to the hospital after lesions appeared on his skin. How did he contract it? I have no idea. It must have come into close contact with a tainted letter or crossed paths with the unsub himself. How old was the baby? Seven months. Did he survive? I gotta run. Kamara's waiting. I'll call you from the hospital. Spence! Did the baby survive? Yeah, but I mean, that was a curable strain. This thing's entirely different. Dr. Reed. <sighs> you look nice. <laughs> I haven't been in this outfit for a while. How are, how are the patients doing? Let's worry about you. I actually, I feel fine. Okay, if you feel any pain, I could give you something. Uh, I, I'd rather not take any pain medication. We can at least make you feel more comfortable. I am comfortable, and I don't want to take any narcotics. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they're hosing him down now. All right. They're checking out Brown's house. Go help Hotch. Hotch has plenty of people helping him. They need you more than I do. Reed, I'm going to see you off to the hospital. I'm about to get naked so they can scrub me down. Is that something you really want to see? I'll check on you later. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! Are you eating jello? Hmm. Hey, kid. Hey, Doc. 
who's back. Is there any more Jello? 